Fallen, 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 fallen. going on everybody it's your boy mr ddg94 here with another nba 2k my career gameplay and today we are taking on the end of anna pace cuz we're taking on the team that drafted me cuz <laughs> yeah man so uh yeah 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 we taking on yeah boys right here now nah. we taking on paul george and the indiana pacers who just Earned their spot in the playoffs, eliminating the Chicago Bulls. I know you Bulls fans are upset right now, but don't get mad at me. Get mad at the Brooklyn Nets. They the ones who failed you. The Brooklyn Nets is the one that failed you, not me. I'm here to help you. Because if you see the title and you clicked on the video, then you know why you're here. So let's just get right into it. So, what do the Bulls need to do after... Uh, unsuccessful season new coach Jimmy Butler becomes the man Derrick Rose has had one of if not one of the best healthiest the, the, the most consistent season he's ever had since tearing his ACL like this is the most consistent I've seen Derrick Rose in a Bulls uniform this year facts 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 yeah. So, it shouldn't have been that bad of a year. Jimmy Butler came alive. Derrick Rose was pretty much healthy for the remainder of the season, for, for pretty much like a good chunk of the season. You got a new coach. You, your offensive numbers went up a little bit, which really needed to happen. But your defensive numbers went down. Yeah. So, that kind of fucked you over in the long run. Yeah. So... Now you're out of the playoffs. Yeah. I'm here to help. Yeah. Cause I got a couple of methods methods to my madness that could help this team out. Yeah. So basically, if you saw the thumbnail, then you know who I'm talking about. I've been talking about this now for like two or three months, and I'm just gonna keep talking about it because ESPN is not talking about it, TNT is not talking about it, NBA TV ain't even talking about it. I'm the only person who's bringing up the fact that the Bulls can actually make a move for Kevin Durant this summer. Yes, the Bulls, I know you have not been successful with big name superstars, uh, certain likes of LeBron James or uh, Carmelo Anthony, but there's a turnaround here. Kevin Durant could be the answer. Yeah. He could be the savior. Yeah. The Windy City savior. Yeah. And I feel like with Kevin Durant on the Chicago Bulls, yeah. it could work. Yeah. But since you guys did not make the playoffs this year, 
the pitching to get Kevin Durant just became a lot harder. Yeah. So you better pray to God that Kevin Durant and Oklahoma City Thunder get swept or lose in like five games or something like that because if they fight hard, I'm pretty sure he's going to stay in OKC. But if he gets like dominated in the second round against whoever he plays, whether it be um, the Spurs or the Warriors, Y'all better hope that something bad happens to KD. I'm not hoping for anything bad, but I'm just saying if you're a Chicago Bulls fan or if you're a fan of a team that has possibility to get Kevin Durant, you may want to pray that the Oklahoma City Thunder get their ass handed to them in the second round. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So the, so the method to my madness is simple. The method to my fucking madness is simple. And it goes with something like this. And this is going to be a little hypothetical thingamajiggy here, okay? This is what I think should happen. Kevin Durant. Let's, let's just say that Kevin Durant, they got swept by the Warriors in the second round, right? The Warriors washed them, okay? Just destroyed them. So Kevin Durant is upset. He's like, fuck this. He hasn't said anything to anybody. He's not doing interviews. He's not talking to anybody. He's just, he's just fucking upset, okay? He's lost it. And he's just like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And now free agency comes. And he's looking at his options, right? Now, before free agency, let's say Chicago gets a top 10 draft pick. And they get a point guard. A point guard for Derrick Rose's sake, right? A point guard that's good enough to back up Derrick Rose, okay? Now, you will be losing Pau Gasol this summer. Uh, so expect that but if KD comes then there's a good possibility that Paul, Paul, Paul Gasol might stay so let's just say that let's just say that let's just say that you just so happen to fire uh, Fred Hoiberg let's say you fire him okay and you bring in Scott Brooks now you have leverage now you're thinking you got leverage you're thinking clearly so now it's like okay we got KD it's like okay we got Scott Brooks we got rid of Hoiberg we got Scott Brooks we still got Rose we still got Jimmy Butler we got this top 10 draft pick that's a really good point guard and now now where do we go from here I'll tell you where you go from there. You pitch the fuck out of everything to Kevin Durant. You use Scott Brooks as the guy. You tell him that, hey, things going to be different here in Chicago. We got more talent, man. You got Jimmy Butler. You got Derrick Rose. And then you got your boy, your boy, Scott Brooks. And I know what she's singing right now. Like, didn't you hate Scott Brooks? Yeah, I hate Scott Brooks. I still don't like Scott Brooks. But I think with that Chicago team, with all the talent that they have on that team, I think it would be a better situation for them. It's not just KD and Russell Westbrook. It's KD, Jimmy Butler, Derrick Rose. And a really good, solid bench, okay? That bench is pretty solid, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. That Chicago bench is solid, okay? They can do some things, man. As soon as they mature and they get and they get a little bit more advanced into their careers because that bench is pretty young, I think that could work. I think that that could work with Chicago. And... That should be the that should be how the Chicago Bulls take this summer with with uh, KD. Now, if you don't get KD, which is a high possibility, it's still a high possibility that you won't get KD. Okay, it's still a high probability. But if you don't trade Derrick Rose for Carmelo Anthony. That's all I'm saying. Trade Derrick Rose for Carmelo Anthony. I'm telling you, you might get something there. Carmelo Anthony don't want to be in New York no more. Trade. For Carmelo Anthony, you might get something there. Carmelo Anthony, Jimmy Butler, top 10 draft pick, point guard. Start over fresh. You still got that good, you still got that good core. You lose Pau Gasol, but you gain Carmelo Anthony. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. I am helping the Bulls right now. I'm thinking of every possible method to get the Bulls back on track. Okay? And this is the best methods that I think could work. So, if you don't like them, and you a Chicago Bulls fan, 
be be a hardcore dick rider like you all like you like you are being right now. But other than that though, I personally think that it could work like this. I think it could work better like this. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on what should happen with the Chicago Bulls. They have been eliminated from the playoffs by the team we just took out, the uh Indiana Pacers. And yeah, tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Do you have your own theory as to what the Chicago Bulls should do going forward this offseason? So yeah, uh get active in the comment section below. I'll get back to you till then. Peace out.